What's up, everybody, and welcome to another episode of Shock and Awe Toy Reviews. Two idiots, one camera, and a review. I am Wilson, so next to me is the bearded god of thunder. Ultra Megavert. And in this episode, we're reviewing this toy. This is the winner of the Patreon viewer vote. So um, everybody who supported at a $2 level gets to vote on one review a month, and this is what won. What exactly is this, Mr. Bird? This is Bandai Japan's Mega Man X Shogun Mega Man X Giga Armor. This is just regular Mega Man. Um, so yeah. far, we haven't gotten this is into Mega Man from Mega Man X. Yes, which looks almost exactly like uh, pretty much every other Mega Man. That's oh, he's not got clear shin boot guards. Yeah, well, this is a fancier one, and he's got... he's like the IDW Mega Man compared there to. There you go. Mega he's got a lot of cool clear plastic parts on him. On his arm there, it's uh, X-17. On his chest, you can see 17th Elite Unit, written really small. So it's very highly detailed, the portrait, if you will. Looks exactly how I would expect a Mega Man to look. It's not pixelated enough. That's true, I, I, I agree. <laughs> if you're old like us, this is not um, any kind of Mega Man that you're really familiar like with. like an HD TV Mega Man. <laughs> yeah, I did play the Mega Man X game a lot. And I do remember him getting armor, and not once do I remember him having wings. So, please comment below if if you can correct us and... Help us learn. He's got his famous blaster pew, hand. Pew, 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 pew. So this one, unlike some others, does not light up. But if you prefer your Mega Man to have two hands, this is a neat little feature that he has. Prop this open like that. Say there's this hidden little hand in here, and then turn it out, and the Mega Blaster, Mega Buster, or whatever goes in. Now you got two hands. But you say, what if I, what if, what if I'm a lefty, and I want my Mega Man to be a lefty? What would you do? I would say, too bad, so sad. I would say his hand just fell. Off. Yeah, that was Looks my fault. <laughs> it looks like <laughs> great. Same thing on the other side. He's got a blaster. And of course you could do two double blasters, which is doubly awesome. The paint looks good. He's got metal parts in them right around in the yeah, legs the and everything. Cast, yep, the die cast. The bottom of his feet has cool like glass with red in there where his rockets would be. I'm assuming he's perfectly accurate, so he looks great. Okay. I don't I only played the first I, I couldn't tell you. Man, you are old as fuck. Welcome to the new age, son. Yeah. <clears throat> What's good about this toy is not only do you get Mega Man, but you remember Rush, his dog, right? Yeah, no. No, okay. Well, and this is their version of Rush, and he looks very awesome. He is, he's a heavy little boy. Have you even felt this guy? No. No? Would you like to touch him a little bit? Wow, he is. Yeah. Right. He looks, though, nothing like the rush from the games which is very strange considering they nailed mega man so perfectly that just like to me these two design styles don't go well together at all but he's got some cool little features and again all kinds of paint and little nice details you can see on his legs and yellows there and these little rocket pieces move up which is very cool. And as I'm sure you remember, Mr. Burke. Yes, sir. In the video game, one of the first things that Rush ever did was provide like a spring jump for Mega Man to uh, jump off of. Okay. This Rush has that. Can he jump off his butt? No, but you push the tail down like this. Boom! In the spring seat pops up just like that and he can go boing why don't you put Mega Man on it and then launch him because that's not how the game works you have to call in Rush Rush pops the ass up this is a different Rush though well that is true so you could do it that way regardless I'm just showing a feature that it has and it's a very cool thing they didn't have to put it in there but they did I do like the design and the look of it he, he's very vicious just looking through uh, some photos of Mega Man and Rush. Yeah. Uh, 
This design of Mega Man fits perfectly with that design of Rush. Does it really? Your memory of Mega Man is totally wrong. Shut the fuck up, really? I just googled Mega Man Rush. And every picture is the super cartoony Mega Man with the super cartoony dog Rush. Yeah, this isn't. This is. Uh, this doesn't match that but Rush. None of the Mega Man who, in a picture with Rush looks anything like this guy. True, but wouldn't you agree though that this Mega Man looks more like the pictures that you found than Rush looks like the pictures that you found? From the neck down. No. No, right. Rush's head looks completely wrong. Right. In my opinion. And that's that's fair. It's your opinion. Um, research. Yes. Research. You guys pay for, for more money, but maybe we can hire research <laughs> Kevin. So starting with Mega Man, he's got all kinds of cool, like, oh, look at that. I can look up. Look, look up, up and down. Look down. He's got, I think it's one, two, and three torso areas that can... Uh, or like ab crunches almost. It's got chest crunch and ab crunch and yeah. waist crunch. But he doesn't have a waist swivel, but the top piece, the top of uh, his swivel. chest, yeah, chest swivel. Um, arms, can do the full 360, single joint elbows, both sides. And spin those wrists around 360. Mm -hmm. Spin the wrist 360, you can th spin the. Uh, Forearm. Forearm 360. I'm not good with body parts. Like, I don't know the names of them. Like, almost it's like hand, foot. You know what I mean? Forearm. I don't know forearm. No. Uh, he can get he can get super, super cool out straight. Uh, you can see the little, like, metal ball piece there. And then super knee bend like that. He has the thigh swivel that Mr. Berg loves so much. On both sides. Yeah, she has two thigh swivels. Oh, that's that's right. He's got one up at the top and one right above the knee area. And then the toe here, in and out, lots of toe movement. And he's got pretty decent ankle tilt and foot movement all around. So pretty good overall. I wish the hands maybe moved a little more, but I don't necessarily need that in a Mega Man toy. Moving on to Rush. His head. It's articulated, just goes up and down, and it can move and turn great ways. Give that hmm, dog look. His ears go up and down. Part of the reason for that is uh, he turns into a like space bike. Ears become the handle. Oh, his head does come off, in case you were wondering. His mouth is articulated. He's got some nice sharp teeth in there. And he's got all the, he's got nice ball jointed dog shoulders, shoulders and legs. Hips. hips, every every feet. See, this is why you should do it because knees. I don't need knees okay. and his tail can move up and down. Can it wag side to side? It cannot because tail pushing down is again what makes that pop up. But very cool, again, very posable. Um, I have not yet tried to get him to sit like in that dog pose, you know, like when dogs sit. It's not a Voltron that's, cat, that's, you know. That's the second thing I would have done. Is it really? Yeah, first was to see if his head comes off, and the second thing would be to see if his head like, Shut the fuck up. Your first thing would have been to see if his head comes off. But can he lick his crotch? And, of course, he can pass the one-foot test very easily. Yeah, with a foot that big, if he couldn't pass it, you should just throw him in the garbage. <laughs> and in case you were wondering, he can pass the one-tail test. All right, so moving on for these accessories. He's got all these armor pieces that we have yet to put on him but they also fit on Rush and make a cool kind of like space motorcycle. Speeder bike. Speeder bike, yeah, and it fits on the stand that it comes with. It's really secure on the stand. These pieces, some of them aren't connected as securely as others. So like these tend to come off a little bit. The feet back here that are the engines, they'll fall off, but it's actually everything here is connected better then it connects um, when it's on him as armor. What is strange too is the way you turn his feet around. So like you turn his upper thigh backwards and then you turn his lower thigh back forward and then turn put his foot down like that for him to be able to sit on the bike. I don't understand why that is. I don't know why they made that design choice. Also, he's got these sep separate set of hands that allow him to hold on to the handles of the bike, which are actually Rush's ears. So it's very clever. It's a, they do a great job. 
Is that from a video game? I am not as in touch with Mega Man as I used to be, so I don't know. For the details on the accessory pieces, there's this clear plastic with all kinds of logos and writing on it. I don't know what it stands for. If we zoom in, it says Irregular Hunter there, so that's actual words. It's crazy. It's that's really small, too. Words. Well, yeah. They could have just done, you know, like Cybertronian symbols or something like that. So it's it's a good-looking piece. Um, see here, this piece is another one that comes off fairly e yeah, pretty easy. Fell off. Yeah. There goes the other foot. Yeah. Yeah, not the best. It looks good sitting on the stand, but if you're going to, like, fly him around, it's it's not going to stay together very well, very well. So, Mr. Berg, the moment you've been waiting for... A Gundam. Gundam Mega Man, pretty much, yeah. Um, these are all the armor pieces that we saw connected to Rush to make the jet. Now connected to make a Mega Man. Yeah, that's a thing that I would never do with that toy. <laughs> There's an anime that I can't think of that it looks more like. So I guess it looks like Saint Seiya. And while I like it and it looks cool, in practicality, it, it does not work very well. So, for example, just moving like his arm and bending stuff, especially this shield part, that will fall off. These shoulder pads come off very easily. These are very, you hear that? That's, that's thin, thin plastic that will break. These uh, wings in the back are articulated. That's cool, but again, moving these, they'll, they, they come out. They come out of the back right here, kind of easy, one more than the other. And then this backpack, which connects together, also will sometimes come apart. So it's, a, it's kind of a bummer. Whoops. Say that's exactly what I'm talking about. What I did find with this that makes it easier is this piece comes out like this. And then this little tab right here tabs into his arm. Making it a, a better extension, which actually helps it get out of the shoulder pads way. So the wings can come off and make this strange gigantic mega buster thing that they also show that he puts the shield near um never seen it in the game not saying it's not in any of the games but fuck if i know man it's it's weird it looks cool no it doesn't <laughs> you don't think that looks cool no, it does dumb as shit. Well, whatever. I mean, you may like it. It's up to you, but that's that's another thing. These clip together better, and I wish they had figured out some way to do it on the back there. The shoulder pads fell off so many times that I just said, fuck it. Finally, he comes with... Oh, the aforementioned hands that we Yeah, the aforementioned hands. These ones don't have holes to hold, hold on, on to the bike. Yeah, so. There you go. For scale, we have uh, Imperix from DC Collectibles, the Black Ranger from Mighty Morphin Power Rangers, the aforementioned Mega Man that we're reviewing and his dog Astro Spike, who uh, is Rush's replacement after Rush had the accident. So who are they really? The terrible repaint of the awesome Mega Man toy we reviewed up here. Ding! Uh, this is the Black Ranger. Oh, that's Zero from Mega Man X as well. From Black Ranger. From Bandai. So this guy is about six inches tall. These guys are five and a half inches yeah. tall. He, he is supposedly exactly five and a half inches yeah. tall. And here they are without his boots on. So <laughs> that's their actual heights. Yes. Much better. Not much. He's not much shorter. It's a quarter of an inch shorter now. That's nah, not much. So down to the nitty gritty, grab that titty. I'm giving it a two and a half out of five hammers. The biggest problem with this guy is the armor and staying on him. Armor works best on Rush as a speeder bike, jet, whatever. And even then, there are still pieces that are loose. But they do not work very well, if at all, on Mega Man. Any kind of movement makes them fall off. I can fix some of those, hopefully, by putting Future on them, and that'll make them tighter, which means Future should sponsor this show, because I mentioned it all of the time. But... Rush was one of the reasons that I got the this pair as well, and I do like him the best, even though his aesthetic does not match the Mega Man. But I was also not aware that he was rebuilt at one time, and so maybe this is absolutely 100% correct. That's fine. Just the Rush I remember looked more like the face like that. The Rush you remember looks like a, a dog wearing armor. Yeah. So you gave it a 2.5, and I hate it more than you. <laughs> so I guess I have to give it a... 
a 1.5, oh, okay. which seems really low. What were you going to give it before? I was going to give it a 2, but everything you said, yeah, I agree with. Yeah. And I think he's a floppy mess. The articulation on Rush isn't that great. It doesn't have a lot of range and movement and you can't put him in simple dog poses, which I found really surprising for the amount of articulation he does have. And that armor is just crap. I think it looks dumb. The color scheme is dumb. I understand that if it's accurate and that people like it, that's fine. The color choices do not go well with him. It doesn't hold on while it falls off. The bike is super floppy. I'd be terrified if it falls or something falls into it that it would snap. I, I would think you would just buy it a pre-armored Mega mm -hmm. Man yeah. and not have it come off. Especially knowing how much it costs. Yeah. It is just it is ridiculously expensive compared to this guy. Right. For what you get. I think you get a good Mega Man figure, a terrible Mega Man armor set, and a really nice shelf hmm. rush. I do think this is probably I agree is probably more of a shelf toy. Like yeah, get right. it how you want it to look, set yeah, it up. It's not a fun toy to play yeah. with. Which is unfortunate. Because uh, this guy, as you said, it does everything that guy does and, and more. A million times better. And right? better. We can tell because you set up this shot, too, and, and, and we can tell how much you like uh, the one we're reviewing because you can see him <laughs> so well. Yeah, he's, <laughs> he's right down here getting his head smashed with the dog. <laughs> yes, that's right. For all our Peter friends out there, no actual dogs were harmed in the filming of this episode. <laughs> so, He's got a smile on his face just from the other angle. Just like Mr. Berg always has a smile on his face. yippee ki yay We're going to call it for this episode. Thank you for watching. Uh, thank you for you all voting. Please <laughs> check us out on the social media. It's all down in the show notes. And, of course, the Patreon. Thank you for pa supporting us. Yes, thank you for supporting us. It's patreon.com slash toy reviews. Go ahead, check it out. Check out the benefits that you can get. Uh, just like voting and exclusive reviews. So once again, we can't say it enough. Thank you for watching, and until next time. Don't buy this toy.